In this video, we are going to see how we can use images as buttons. So the result will look like this. All these three are buttons. And so as you can see, images are used to like to basically show the buttons. Here are the images, PNG images we have. So yeah, let's get started. We are going to create a new WPF application. Let's name it image as button. Okay. Okay, so let's first create a regular buttons inside the tag panel. So, for example, first button is going to be the Facebook button, and then the second one is going to be the Twitter, and the third one is going to be the Instagram button. And then let's say the content, Facebook, Twitter. So the content is Twitter. And then the, the third one is Instagram. OK, so those are just regular buttons. And it is going to be rendered as expected. Let's change the orientation to be horizontal okay uh, so the next thing we want to do is we need to add the images as uh, as resources so we're going to create a folder named png and add these three items okay let's select it and it's important to also set the build action as resources okay now what we need to do is we need to change the buttons contents so they are not going to be just strings anymore. They are going to be images. Now Visual Studio has this nice feature. We can drag and drop the image from here to here. And it's going to automatically uh, add the image for us. And we're going to do it here, too. OK, it's good. Let's see how it looks like now. Yeah, so as you can see, icons are really big because they are appearing in their original size, which yeah really depends. Also, the icons can have different sizes so it's not going to uh, to look good at the end so we want to set the size for icons uh, we can do it uh, in XAML file directly but i want to do it uh, in c sharp code and the reason is that we are going to use the hovering option to make the icons look bigger and reset their their uh, their size so it's better to have methods for that so what we're going to do is we are going to have a set button size method 
which accept as argument the button uh, width and height. So now we are going to set button width equals to width, button height equals to height. And now one more thing. We also want to set the image size width to be the same and then image height to be the same. Okay, uh, so yeah. Now let's see what we have. Oh, no, we won't have anything. So um, now also we need to have this void set initial size button and here we're just gonna call set button size button and let's assume that our initial size is 100 uh, on 100 so now in constructor we can just call the the set initial size and here we have the facebook button Set initial size the Twitter button. Set initial size uh, so the, the the other thing is Instagram button. Okay. So let's see how it looks like now. Okay, so we have these three buttons, but the problem is, as you can see, we have some weird background. We have these borders, so it doesn't look good yet. Uh, so in order to remove the borders we basically will need to set border thickness and padding and also in order to see the, uh, to see a hand uh, instead of cursor we need to set all the settings all the options uh, directly in button so to not repeat in three three places let's create a custom style uh, that's gonna serve for all all buttons, okay? So Windows, we're gonna define Windows resources style. Let's name it a custom style and target type equals to button. And here, um, so let's do a border thickness. Border thickness value zero. Let's also set the padding as zero. And also let's set the cursor as hand. Okay. Now, in order to apply this for to all buttons. Uh, we could apply to like this style to all buttons, but I prefer to use instead this this way. So we're gonna have static resource custom style and just copy everything here. Okay. So let's now see how it looks like. Yeah. And one more thing we want to do is we want to set the background as transparent. Transparent. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, now let's uh, let's resize the button when it, it is hovered. So for that. We're gonna have mouse mouse leave event. It's okay to have all the event uh, all, all the buttons uh, to find the same event. Okay, so what we're gonna have here, as we already have this set button size. Now what we're gonna do is set button size. 
uh, sorry, this one is mouse layer. We need to have mouse enter as well. So mouse enter, mouse enter. Okay, so in case of mouse enter, we're gonna have set button size sender as button, and then we're gonna have 100 and 100, no, 110 and 110. And when mouse leaves, we want to set the initial size. Okay, let's do this. Set initial size, but uh, sender sender as button. And let's have another another method private void set hover style. It's gonna be again. It's gonna receive button as an argument, and here set button size button 110 110 and here we're gonna have set hovered size sender as button okay okay so yeah as you can see it all oh, we are almost there there is one little problem as you can see when hovering the background color is different now we have the we have the style so we can add a custom style here for for the for the hovering case okay so it's going to be the setter property equals to template we are adding a new template setter value so we are overriding the uh, the control template now background equals to template binding background and then it's going to be content presenter horizontal alignment center vertical alignment center okay now so we basically say template binding background and it's going to take this this exact background for us yeah there we go and one thing is very important here is everything is transparent here i mean the background is transparent here so even if we change the uh, main window background to let's say red it's gonna work as it is expected yep that's it